um, which farm animals can be pregnancy scanned. Um, so all of the above ticked green, um, sheep, cows, pigs, goats, alpacas, dogs. I could probably even do a cat. I've never tried a cat. Um, it's not really a farm animal. It would be if, if, it was, if it was a mouser. I know a lot of farmers do have cats, but um, horses um, are best left for the vets. Um, they have a very thin uh, rectal wall and uh, it's something that we're not allowed as contractors to do. Um, I would and it would be against the law and they could fine you quite heavily. And the last thing you want to do is uh, break the wall, a rectal wall of a horse because you're inexperienced at scanning a horse and that horse got septicemia and died. So no horses for contractors, leave the horses for the vets. Um, if you own the horse yourself um, and you wanted to do it, you can do it, but be, be uh, trained first in doing it. So they're the laws. It was only in 2006 that I was able to start scanning cows as a contractor. So the laws pertaining to pregnancy scanning um, for contractors changed in Australia at that time. I went to the UK in 2006 and did a course at Nottingham University on pregnancy scanning cows, which went for a week. And I came back knowing that the legislation was in process for changing. And as soon as it changed, we started to advertise to do cows and we do many thousands of cows now, which is fantastic. And I work in conjunction with a lot of vets too. What type of farmer gets their livestock pregnancy scanned? Obviously, a lot of people would think, oh, stud owners, they're going to get them all, all done. Well, they do. Um, stud owners get, get all their sheep um, pregnancy scanned. Flock owners now, it doesn't matter whether you're Merino, crossbred in Scotland. I have heaps of farmers scan in Scotland. There's very few who do not. That's the, the ones that I know of. Um, over in the UK, um, small farm holders, um, I, I, like I said before, I scanned for a lot of small farmers, 20, 30, 50 sheep, 100 sheep, 200. Um, they all get their, a lot of those guys get their sheep scanned, working with your neighbours if you want to get your sheep scanned, have a talk and contractors will come around. Another thing, farmers selling pregnant livestock. I do some, a lot of times, the way I've started off with a new farmer is they're wanting to sell um, excess livestock, pregnancy tested um, in calf or pregnancy tested in lamb or kid or something like that. So they, they'll get me in to pregnancy scan their sheep, those, uh, or, or livestock, and those, um, generally speaking, those sheep will bring a premium if, they're, if they've got a fetus and so a one way farmers generally start getting their sheep pregnancy scan then they see the benefits of the monetary value of getting their sheep or cattle or their livestock scanned and then they start looking at increasing productivity through other ways looking after their livestock um, better um, through pregnancy scanning nutrition and all of that so um, they're the ones who scan farmers exporting live animals overseas I know the live animal export um, is a very contentious issue, but I've scanned many thousands of goats and sheep that are, and cattle that have gone on live exports overseas, usually via plane. So they're putting crates on a plane. They're over, mostly over into Asia in a very short period of time, and those, they, those livestock have to be pregnancy scanned empty or only very early in, in their pregnancy for them to be transported overseas. So that if you've got... There was one, one place I was doing a humanitarian for, I think it was Madagascar, and they had 2,000 goats. Um, they were meat cross, uh, meat boar goats cross a um, Australian feral goat, and uh, they were pregnancy scanning those, and all of those ones had to be pregnancy scanned empty. And um, so I pregnancy scanned about 800 that were uh, that were in kid, and the other 1,200 went off overseas to Madagascar as a, um, as aid um, to that country and that was part of what the government were, were doing for, for that country for humanitarian reasons for aid to them and uh, so I was part of that and, uh, and they got across there very safely they're very well looked after and um, so I've done that in the past as well I only have a small number of livestock can I still get them scanned 
Yeah, guys, you can. I do a lot of sheep, a lot of mobs that are around about sort of 40 or 50. I do. I, I did one mob earlier, the, the, earlier last month. That was they only had 28, so that was fine. And I did those. So um, everybody's sheep and cows, they're all important. Um, yeah, if I can get them on the way past, I, I try and do that. Um, but there is a minimum charge you have to charge as a contractor to do it. And if you can work in with neighbours in your area too, I have a lot of people with smaller mobs and they work in with each other. So if I'm in the area, there might be four or five um, with small lots and they all join at the same time and they all have the same um, management practices and I go in on the same day in the same area to scan those sheep, cows, um, or goats. So um, that's very handy too for to, to getting your sheep um, scanned um, with contractors, organized with your neighbors to join at the same time, and they will come. So some guys won't, but um, a lot of guys would if they can get a lot in a lot of jobs done in the one uh, on the one day.